Before the accident, uh, he was as good as we all hoped to be when we were his age. He had just uh, walked the entire museum with his wife and his church group and was uh, headed back home. According to the lawsuit, in June 2013, 74-year-old Myung Oh was leaving the Perot Museum when he took a tumble on the property, leaving him permanently paralyzed. O's lawyer, Mark Linehan, says that he believes that there is sufficient evidence that shows that the Perot Museum knew that their steps were dangerous. Such as Texas Bowmanite's blog, the company states that they were contracted to fix the exterior steps of the Perot. They fixed other places beforehand, they didn't fix this spot, and now we got a paralyzed individual here. Meanwhile, every day we got busloads of kids and senior citizens uh, all over that property and they're leaving it uh, as an exposed danger. A lot of people will wonder if there was any cones or the kind of signs you might see at a McDonald's if there's a tripping hazard or something. Absolutely nothing. Due to the severity of the damage, Young O now has medical needs that will keep him living in a nursing home indefinitely. And Linehan says that there is no amount of compensation that can cover that. But in medical bills alone, it will take millions to sustain his client. And at the end of the day, he just wants the Perot Museum to provide a safer environment. It's because I got to imagine that this message being shared with the community is going to go straight to Perot Museum's heart and they're going to get out there and they're going to fix this immediately.